Okay, so today we're going to do kind of like three different factoring things. And this is the first video I'm going to make, just factoring out the GCF. And you should kind of remember this from before. And this is where we're trying to think about what could we possibly multiply everything by um, to kind of get back to the beginning. So we want to see what number did they multiply everything by, and then what n did they multiply everything by. So I can figure out the number pretty easily. The number that they multiplied everything by was 2. Because I can see here that 8 times 2, well that gives me 4. And then 6 times 2 gives, or 2 times 3 gives me 6. And then 2 times thir or 16 gives me 32. So I can see 2 is the number that they multiplied everything by. Now i got to look for the ends that they multiplied everything by. Well this says 5, this says 3, and this says 2. So they could have multiplied everything by two ends, leaving um, leaving three in here, because n squared times n to the third gives me n to the fifth. Um, leaving one n in here, and leaving zero n's over here, and that would be my final answer. So again, this is kind of broken up into two steps. First step see what number they multiplied everything by. Second step, see how many n's they multiplied everything by. Let's try a second example. Okay, again, similar idea. I know that they multiplied everything by 5, so that's kind of the first thing I could take out. And that would leave me 1 on the inside, negative 2, and negative 3. Then I look at the x's, and I can see that they all share an x. So I know that they took out an x, and if they took out an x, that would leave me with three x's here, just a single x here, and no x's there. Again, you can check to make sure this works out by distributing this and seeing if the distribution works, which you, like if you do, you can see that it would. Um, let's do one more example. Okay, this one seems a little bit crazier because there's just more stuff with it, but um, we're just going to do the same process we've done every single time. We're going to look at our numbers, see what number they multiplied everything by, which is 3. Um, that would give me 2, 1, and then 3. Now I'm going to look at their variables. So the first one I look at is x. Let's choose a different color. So look at x. And I can see that the lowest number of x's I can get is 1. So they definitely multiplied everything by a single x. Now I do the same thing with y. Well, everything's multiplied by a y, so that's my other thing that comes out. Well, if I take an x out of that one, I would just be left with one x, and if I take a y out, I'd be left with no y's. If I take an x out of here, I'd be left with none. If I take a y out, I'd be left with none. If I take an x out of here, I'd be left with two, and if I take a y out, I'd be left with none. That would be my final answer. For this GCF um, stuff, the first thing you have to do is check the numbers. Then after you check the numbers, we go to the variables and slowly go down from there. Um, try these different examples. 